Welcome back to Chapter 10 of the Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-earth board game. Let's go ahead and get started and see what we're in for. So we've got some XP we're going to go ahead and spend. For Aragorn, we are going to look at the Word of Triumph card and add that to his list. And that card, when you or a nearby hero test might, you may discard the skill to add one success and scout one, or we can use it for strike two. And for Gimli, we are going to go ahead and get final defense. And that card, when you or a nearby hero performs a last stand, you may discard the skill to add one success to the test and scout two. We also have options to guard three or rest two, and this also provides us a success. So we will continue on. We will keep the same rolls. All right, you enter a great numinous on the southern shores of Lake Evendom. Once the capital of the kings of Arnar, the city has lain in abandoned ruin for more than 1,000 years. Thunder rolls in the distance, and light rain welcomes you to this haunted place. Play style 301B. Somewhere in the city rests now Tilar, the Mirror of Spirits, a tool used in ancient Arnar to communicate with unseen spirits. The Possessor commands respect from the dead, and with it, Adoran could raise his fell army with little effort. You must find it. Place heroes as indicated. Each hero shuffles one weakness into their deck. Then each hero scouts three. First Aragorn. We have a little bit of laziness and two lead the charges. So we will put one on top of the deck. The other lead the charge. We'll prep that and put laziness on the bottom of our deck. And for Gimli, we have Ready Defense, Poet's Heart, and Clever Wit. Uh, Ready Defense is great for preventing damage, so we will prep that. And put the other two on the bottom of our deck. And then we will add 209B. Two oh three A. Two oh five B. One oh one A. And four exploration tokens. See an enormous tower dominating the view of a numinous proper. Such a monument would have held the chambers of the King of Arnor and his most valuable advisors and artifacts. Adding 400B. 201B. Two more exploration tokens. Should head deeper into the city to begin your search. Find now Tilar. Reaching the city took you longer than you'd hoped. Spot Adoran scouts moving among the ruins. They have already begun their search. Place a ruffian. An orc hunter. Adder and troops are already in the city. There is no time to waste. Plain of singing reaches your ears, faint but undeniable. You look about for its source for a moment before realizing it's coming from the silent scepter. You recall the scepter singing to the reflection in the underground lake in Fornost. Could it now be reaching out to another reflection? Starting the action phase. 
We will have Aragon go first using well provision so each can scout two. Aragon. Let's see here. I think we'll just prep these two on top of our deck to know we have two successes coming up. And then for Gimli. Restless X. We'll go ahead and prep that and put Unyielding Spirit on the bottom of our deck. And then we'll have Aragorn move in here and take a look at this ruffian. So, five health, nothing special. York Hunter, the same except he has one armor. So Aragorn is on the attack. So we know we have two successes which will give us five hits, which is exactly what we need to take out the ruffian. Applying five hits and removing the ruffian. And we will let him gain an inspiration. And then he will Continue to move going back this direction. And then for Gimli, he will move over and attack the Orc Hunter. Looking at four cards. He's a little isolated, a little arrogant. We have one success. Nothing else to really boost that. We'll put that back on top of our deck. One success, we can get two hits and a sunder. Let's see, sunder, two hits. And that's the best we can do. And we can attack. Orca praises you with a dark, murderous look. So now we will negate with wit. And because of our ring mail, if we would test wisdom, spirit, or wit to negate, we may test our might instead. So we will test with might. Which gives us two successes. And because of our ready defense, we will have three successes to negate all that damage. And that will be it for our hero phase. Entering the shadow phase. Shadow deepens, the hope yet endures. Threat increases by 10. As the storm draws near, Adder and Jork spread throughout the city. The overland route you took into the city now swarms with them. Your time to find now Tilar is rapidly dwindling. Place two orc marauders at the indicated space. And let's see how mean these guys are going to look or not. Okay. Rally phase. Tira resets their deck, then scouts two. So they are nearby. So Aragorn's ability will allow each of them to look at three cards. So we have Time of Need, Unyielding Spirit, and Gift of Men. So we will prep time of need, just in case, and put the other two on the bottom of our deck. And for Gimli,
Looking at three cards. We've got Final Defense, Ancient Wisdom, and Honed Agility. I think we will prep Ancient. No, we'll prep our Agility. Put Final Defense on top of her deck and Wisdom on the bottom. We really need to get some exploring done, but there's a lot of fighting to do. So we will start by looking at how bad these Marauders are. Terrifying and large. Seven health and two damage each. Not cool. All right. So with that in mind, we will have Gimli go first. Starting with the Restless Axe, start of your turn, he may discard the skill to attack and add two hits. So basically he's getting a free attack with some additional help. So, four cards. We have two successes. Which will be more than enough to take this thing out. And we will put Ready Defense back on top of our deck. So two successes and six hits. Apply that. And remove the Orc Hunter. And gain an Inspiration. And then for his first activation he will move over to say hello to these guys and second activation will be another attack so once again isolated and arrogant he has one success we'll spend his inspiration he just got to give him two successes which will be six hits Apply that, and the enemy can attack back, or catch the blade, and it's two thick hands. Might negating. So we'll look at four cards here. We have one success, and because of ready defense, that will give us two successes. And then... We will drop this for the Guard 2 ability to negate all four of that. And because he is nearby Aragorn, after you are nearby hero, rest guards or hides, he'll gain an inspiration. It is now Aragorn's turn. He will jump in here and help out for a move action and now an attack action. Looking at three cards. Lazy in the middle of a fight. One success. And we will spin an inspiration for a second success. And that will give us five hits. Which will remove one Orc Marauder. The enemy will attack back. That's the blade in two hands. Might negating. Everyone gets three cards. We have zero successes. And instead of taking a lot of damage, we will have Gimli guard three to take care of that and since he used the guard ability he'll get another inspiration and then Aragorn will lead the charge after you attack you may discard the skill to gain an inspiration and for a nearby hero to also attack 
So Gimli will make an attack on the remaining enemy, looking at four cards. Getting two successes. Let's see how much damage we need to do to this guy. So we need to do nine. So we will spend another inspiration. So with this battle axe, we can get nine hits between two of those actions, and we will put Restless Axe back on top of the deck here. So the Marauder goes down, and Gimli will gain another Inspiration. So that was a move and attack for Aragorn, and to finish his move, he will move one space back. And that will end the action phase. To the shadow phase again. Threat increases by 10. Into the rally phase. Tira resets their deck and scouts too. And they are nearby, so they will each get to scout three. Let's see. We will prep, lead the charge, and put the other two on the bottom of our deck. And for Gimli... We will prep ready defense and put the other two on the bottom of the deck. And air gone. We will use well provisioned to let each of them look at two cards. And we will prep the wanderer and put Thorngill on the bottom. Gimli, let's see here, we will prep final defense and put this on top of our deck. And we will start with Aragorn, moving up here so we can explore that tile. Force the sick with trees and a single hut hides him on them. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. Something pale on the tree flutters in the breeze. Place a search token. The journey continues. And then he will move another space so he can... Well, I'm sorry. After you explore a tile, you are a nearby hero, may scout one. We'll discard that and have Aragorn scout. And we will prep this. Then he will finish his move to explore the next tile. Winding dirt track, Peter's off into the woodland. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. Crude trap, a mess of rope and sharpened stakes makes the unskilled craft of goblins. Place a search token. Bits of shattered metal and stone litter the ground. Place a threat token. Journey continues. So that was... One complete move for Aragorn. Let's see. He will deal with the threat token. So 
Examine the debris with care, trying to determine its origin. Testing wisdom. Need in two to success. Succeed. And we got two successes, so we will pass that test. Determine that the items are goblin in origin, not two days ago. A large number of them must have fought each other here. These were not warring bands. This was infighting, predicted on a desire for new leadership, perhaps. Lower increases by one, then discard the token. All right, then we'll get into Gimli's turn. We'll have him move to and interact with this search token. Fluttering thing, it is a piece of paper nailed to a tree. When you're near enough to read it, you realize it's a letter. My darling Esme, fear this shall never reach you, but nevertheless I must try. Loved you for so long that I do not remember not loving you. Your gentle touch and sweet words have buoyed my heart from the depths of despair time and time again. We head into the forest at dawn and do not know if we shall return from our dangerous mission. Can only hope this finds its way into your hands. I love you always, Matthias. Testing spirit, needing two successes. And we got three, because we got spirit. So we'll pass that test. Words fill you with joy and sorrow in equal measure. You wonder if Matthias ever returned to Esme and hoped to find someone with whom to share love so deep, in an inspiration, and become determined. Then discard the token. So determined. New test, you may discard the spoon to discard any number of cards from that from the test and reveal that many additional cards. Hopefully when I need this, I'll remember I have it. So that was a move and a search action. So our action phase is complete. To the shadow phase. Threat increases by eight. Adrian has scouts around every corner, though you are able to dispatch them easily enough if you catch them unawares. Carelessness cost you dearly. Place two ruffians. And do the rally phase. Tira resets their deck and scouts too. They are still nearby each other, so they will scout three. Now followed and lazy. We'll definitely put those on the bottom of our deck and prep strider. And for Gimli. Looking at three. Ready Defense, our favorite card. We will prep that. Putting Restless Axe on top of her deck and Wit on the bottom. And we want to keep moving some of these Exploration Tokens. So Aragorn, first move to explore. Dense Tangle of Bramble spans the lone path of dry ground, discard the exploration token, and gain an inspiration. Patch of Mushrooms fills the area with an intoxicating scent. Place a search token. Journey continues. We will go ahead and move up here for our second movement point. And explore. Small dock just out in the water with an old barn nearby. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. We will discard that one since he's at his max. 
Short stretch of water here. Tumbles through rapids and over a waterfall. Several children are playing in the water. Place a person token. Journey continues. And still has some movement. Well, for a second action, he'll just move two to get on this tile and do another exploration. Even partially collapsed, the King's Tower still stands as the greatest, grandest structure in the Numinous. Better days it held on our most valuable treasures. It's a good a place as any to start your search. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. Place a threat token. Scavenging animals have converged on a pile of discarded bones and other refuse. This tower once stood high above a numinous, but the years have reduced it to bare and crumbling stone. Place a search token. Ring of toadstools that's popped through the earth here. Place another search token. Your journey continues. That was it for Aragorn. So now Gimli will move up and say hello to these guys. Let's see how bad they are. They're just normal ruffians with five health each. So he will Swing his mighty axe, looking at four cards. <laughs> a little arrogant, but three more successes. With three successes, that'll be nine hits. Really like to have one more in there, but we'll take what we got. Remove one ruffian. Let the other one clinging on to life attack back. Crow swings a heavy warhammer as easily as he would swing a toy wooden sword. Might will negate. We have hoping for two successes here. We got zero, but we have ready defense prepped. And we'll spend an inspiration to take care of those two. And that will end our action phase. Into the shadow phase. Threat increases by six. Rally phase. Heroes reset their deck and scout two. Somehow I'm still managing to keep them next to each other so they'll each look at three. Aragorn can be a master tactician, or let's see, we will put master tactician on top of her deck, clever wit on the bottom, and well provisioned, we will prep that, discarding the luckware, and for Gimli looking at three. Let's see, Isolated, Poet's Heart, and You Cannot Pass. I think I will put these two on the bottom of our deck. Prep You Cannot Pass, because I might need that guard ability soon. Discarding the Agility card. And then we will let Aragorn go first using well provision to let each of them scout two. So we will put Master Tactician back on top and prep Undying Might. And for Gimli, we'll put Ready Defense back on top and Unyielding Spirit on the bottom of our deck. Then we'll have Aragorn interact with this search token. Oh, 
hopefully finding some artifacts. You enter the tower through a lower door, mostly crumbled. The once grand chamber probably gleamed at the height of Arnar's power, but now the stonework is mostly buried beneath ages of debris and dust. A winding stair leads to the upper chambers, but parts of it have collapsed. As you near the stairs, you can hear the spirit, the scepter softly singing a fearful lullaby. Ascend the stairs, explore this chamber. Well, let's explore this chamber and see what happens. Pay slowly about the chamber, brushing aside your the years of dirt on the walls. Testing wisdom, needing three successes. Aragon will look at four cards. Let's see, make sure he doesn't have anything to help in this search first. We have one success, but we do have two inspiration to spend to convert those to lore into successes, so we'll pass this test. Discover impressive murals depicting events from history of Arnar. The greatest of these shows the first High King of Arnar, Elan Dill, presiding over his new realm in the north. In the distance, there's a tower you take to depict Gondor in the south, the realm of Elendil's sons. Lore increases by two. And I guess we'll search again. And this time we will ascend the stairs. Stairs wind along the inner wall of the tower. Many steps are uneven from damage or fallen away completely. And the wall has toppled across the path in places. We can test agility or wit. And our wit is three, agility is two. Nothing else to help either one, so we will go with the wit for three cards. We have two successes. No way of improving that. Cautious steps keep you from running afoul of the more unstable parts of the tower, but finding the best path Makes for slow going. The scepter continues to sing, gain an inspiration. So that was two actions for Aragorn. So Gimli will continue the fight. Looking at four cards. Getting two successes. And we will put Restless Axe back on top. Two successes will give us six hits. Confirm that. Another ruffian goes down and we gain an inspiration. And for his second action, he will move to to interact with this token. Ruin walls from an ancient battlement, war with new growth. Discard token and gain an inspiration. He's already at his max of three. Cobweb shroud, an old statue. Place a search token. Loose pile of rocks lies on the ground. Something glimmers within. Place another search token. Journey continues. That's it for our actions. To the shadow phase. Crit increases by five. Into the rally phase. Each hero resets their deck and scouts two. We are no longer nearby, so Aragorn will look at three, and Gimli will then get two. I think we will just put Windham on grass on top of our deck and the other two on the bottom. And then shuffle Gimli's deck here. Looking at two cards. Dying Might and Clever Wit. I think we, we're happy with what we have prepped. We'll put these on the bottom. To 
again, we will start with Aragorn interacting with his search token. We'll continue on up the stairs, testing agility or wit. Looking at three cards, we have one success. We'll spin an inspiration to get two. Climb the long stairs, passing carefully over gaps and under fallen stone until you reach an upper, upper chamber. There's a vacant pedestal in the middle of the room, and heavy curtains are drawn all along one curved wall. Though judging by the stale air in the chamber, you are fairly certain they do not conceal windows. Shroom bears further examination. The nearer you are to the heavy curtains, the more you can hear the spirit of the scepter loudly singing a heart-wrenching area, frantic and unsettling. Become determined. Through a gap in the tower wall, you see a numinous spread below you. Parts of the city are mere ruin, while whole districts have been reclaimed by the wilderness in the centuries since the king last ruled here. Place tile 302B. 206B. 308B. and exploration tokens. And for his second action, he will search that token again. This chamber has a vacant pedestal in the middle of the room and heavy curtains drawn along one curved wall. The nearer you are to the heavy curtains, the more you can hear the spirit of the scepter loudly singing, a heart-wrenching area, frantic, unsettling. We will move the curtains aside. Move aside the curtains to reveal six tall mirrors built into the wall, together in a broad half circle. There's a place for a seventh mirror, the wall curiously bare. In the reflection of the chamber, you see willowy shapes moving just out of sight around you, but when you turn, you see nothing of the sort. Scepter song fills the mirrored alcove with acoustics to rival the finest music halls. One by one, the shapes move closer. In the mirrors, you see dead faces crowding close to you. You hear their murmurs. The king? Is it the king? Is there a king in the in honor? Testing spirit, which we have a spirit of two. One success. We will use determined to discard the one blank and draw another card, which gets us a lore symbol to which we can spend an inspiration for to give us two successes. You steal, you steal yourself despite the unnerving gaze of the ethereal host and tell them that unfortunately the king has yet to return. Murmurs ripple through the race in the mirror. If not a king, then someone of impressive bearing, says a clear voice. What would you ask of the dead? Gain an inspiration and scout too. So looking at two cards, I like a success on top, and I feel like we might need some help with spirit, so we will swap that out with Undying Might and hope that doesn't cost us. Alright, so we can ask how to protect Naltier, ask about it, or ask about the missing mirror. Let's just go with question number one. This is the Mirror of Spirits. Or at least the parts of it you are now not kept elsewhere in the Numinous in the King's Vault, hidden by the city's monuments, says a voice from the assembly. A powerful tool, a dangerous tool. They explain that the kings of Arnar use now Tilar to commune with and even command the dead in times of crisis. The race caught in the mirror's surface can refuse such commands only with great difficulty. Lore increases by one. Gaze of the race gives you chills and you feel compelled to step away from the mirror for now. You have found Nautilar, but now you must decide how to prevent Adarin from possessing it himself. 
Just as updated, keep the artillery out of Adderin's hands. So that was two actions for Aragorn. Gimli will move one and interact with this threat token. Looking at the bones, a few badgers cruelly branded with goblin sigils on the foreheads charge toward you. Test agility. We will look at our one card and get one success. Particularly ravenous badger managed to take a chunk out of you before escape. Suffer one damage, then discard this threat token. Yeah, rat gave us a fever. Discard one inspiration, then flip this card face down. So then he will continue his move down here to explore this tile. Judging by the remaining ruins, there used to be a shrine of some sort here with many storage rooms surrounding it. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. Statue of a regal man stands in what was once a city square. Place a search token. Statue of a regal man stands in what was once a city square. Place another search token. Your journey continues with us ending our action phase. Into the shadow phase. Threat increases by six. Boat cars a furrow into the lakeshore as if the orcs aboard it are making war on Heradier itself. Place a threat token. A slick black boat of Numenarian make comes ashore. Orcs leaping off into the knee-high water to charge into the city. Place a threat token. Spot boats coming into the port on Lake Evendome. They disgorge even more of Adoran's orcs to stop you at any cost. Place an orc marauder. You look the troll. Greatest of the beast of Adoran's command bellows a challenge across the remains of Anuminus. Place a hill troll as indicated. Rally phase. Interior resets their deck and scouts too. So Aragorn looking at three cards. He has gotten a little lazy. And Thorngill, we'll put both of those on the bottom of our deck. And Strider, we will prep discarding time of need. And for Gimli. Looking at two cards. We have a Restless Axe and Fury. We'll put Fury on the bottom of our deck. Restless Axe is going to replace, hmm, I've got two ready defenses up there. So we'll get rid of one of those and put that up. So we'll start with Aragorn, looking at uh, the token again. This time he will 
speak with the race. Well, the six pieces of mirror nailer, each taller in water than a man, ranged in a half circle and dozen wraiths pressed towards you. Seventh hollow in the wall that appears to be meant for another large mirror. We will speak with the rays. Rays watch you as you step to the focal point of Nat Neltilauer. Seeing them so close to your own reflection, you can almost feel them brush against you. What would you ask of the dead? We'll ask about the missing mirror. He has seven faces, so that the king could hold audience with all of his advisors. Six faces are here. The last is in the king's secret vault, hidden by the city's monuments, explained to Rath. King found he could not trust any spirit that appeared in it. Gaze of the race gives you chill, and you feel compelled to step away from the mirror for now. So, second action. We'll step away from the mirror. That didn't work. All right, we'll smash the mirror. Speaking's not working. Find a heavy fragment of stone fallen from the wall long ago and strike now to Lear with it. Testing our might. That's not what we wanted to see. So he's been followed. We have one inspiration we can use for one success and undying might for a second success. And see if two is enough. You strike now till our repeatedly cracked spider webbing outward and fragments of it rain into the stone floor. The race back away from your reflection. Become determined. If you're already determined, gain an inspiration. Oh, he's now determined. And then we've got Gimli. He will move two spaces to explore. An area of ruined foundation marks where a settlement used to be. Discard the token and gain an inspiration. First appears to be a hole in the ground is actually a small hole with an old man huddled, keeping a watchful eye on his surroundings. Place a person token. Row of old stone stands nearby, obscured by moss and vines. Place another search token. Journey continues. We will go ahead and move one more space to interact with another exploration token. Ruin has come to these structures. Somehow only the common well survives intact. Discard the token. The murder of angry crows flutters and mutters close by. Place a search token. Tattered sheet apartment shows faint imprints of an unknown origin. Place another search token. And a statue of a regal man stands in what was once a city square. One more search token. Journey continues by ending our action phase to the shadow phase. So the orc marauder would like to move one and attack Aragorn, but he can't, so there's no target. Howling a fierce war cry, the orc marches towards you. Move two spaces towards the closest hero. So to get to Aragorn, he's got one, two, three, four, and Gimli, one, two, three. So he will move two towards Gimli. And Aragorn seems to be in trouble. Everyone wants him, but uh, he's further in one space away, so no target. Charges, clawing at the ground to gain speed, moves two spaces towards the closest hero. Once again, well, now it's three to get to Aragorn, and so Aragorn is now the closest. That can't go well for him. 
Print increases by six. Rally phase. Reset their deck, scout two, and pray. So Aragon looking at three cards. Maybe you can get something with Sprint. Let's see. I think we will prep World of Word of Triumph and place the other two on the bottom of our deck. And for Gimli. Looking at two. Let's see here. He will put both of those on the bottom of his deck. So let's see here. Need to get Gimli up there to help Aragorn so he can make it to the troll. So we'll just go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. And then for Aragorn, he will move one, two, and three. So pretty quick turn there. Ending our action phase. We'll move one, but can't get to Aragorn, so no target. Moving two spaces. And then the troll attack Gimli, which is right where he's at. And the frenzy, you like slashes at you with jagged, filthy claws. Agility negates. The one thing we didn't want it to be. So three damage possible with a fear, and after the attack, you look moves one away from the closest hero. So with one card, we will spin an inspiration for one success. His ready defense gives him another. And then he will guard the other, well actually in that case, We'll just use his ready defense for one, and this guard three for the other three, keeping our inspiration. And then have him move away. Threat increases by six. Thunder shakes the ruins. From the sound, you can only imagine the sky itself is breaking, though you are still hours from nightfall. Thick clouds blot out all light. Flashes of lightning briefly banish the shadows and the ruins, but with each flash come fleeting glimpses of ephemeral ghostly figures wandering there. All spaces are now in darkness. More orcs pour out of their boats. So one orc marauder. More orcs, two goblin scouts. And a rally phase. Tier resets their deck and scouts two. So for Aragorn. Looking at three cards being followed gift of wit clever wit and gift of men put all three of these on the bottom of his deck and Gimli looking at two cards We'll put Ready Defense on top, and on the Yielding Spirit, we will prep. Honestly, not sure what I should be doing. So 
So we'll have Gimli move here and interact with the search token. We'll send him in here to smash the mirror. Testing might. Two successes. And we will spin an inspiration for three. Shards of Natular scatter across the stone floor. One by one, the tall mirrors collapse and shatter after being struck. The wraiths shy back, but solemnly accept your decision. Finally, as you stand in the ruins, glass scattered at your feet, the deed is done, and you can see the race no more. The scepter singing quiets to a low, mournful chant. With now Tiller in pieces, you feel certain Anarin will not be able to use it for his grim purpose. Each hero gains an inspiration, then discard the search token. So this needs to be hit by a dwarf. Imagine that. There remains the piece of the king's vault, and you cannot risk that it is enough for Adarin's purposes. Find the missing piece of now Tilar. From afar, you can see that Adarin's orcs have thoroughly closed off the pass out of Anuminus. Once you have dealt with now Tilar, the lake is likely your only chance of escape. Place a search token as indicated. So that was a move and an interact. So then Gimli will move back to the space where he started and then air going up the top of the map. We'll talk to this person. Short stretch of water here tumbles through rapids and over the waterfall several children are playing in the water. You're concerned for the safety of the children but when you approach they all produce hidden weapons. Test wit. We have one success. It's been an inspiration for a second. So we don't get stabbed by the little kids. Convincing the children that you mean no harm, you compliment them on their quick reflexes. They in turn invite you to ride the rapids with them. Uh, it does sound like fun. Let's have a little fun. Children give you a small barrel to ride down the river and it's very difficult for you to keep the rickety thing afloat. However, you make it over the small waterfall safely and clamber out of the river to happy cheering. Flip one wound face or damage face up, then gain two inspiration and discard the person token. So we don't have any damage to face up, so that didn't hurt much at all. We know the kids are fun to play with there. And for his second action, he will move over here to be ready to deal with that threat token. So that will end our action phase. And all the enemies are going to close in and hit us. So for the first Marauder, he wants to move on to attack Aragorn. It's too far away. So he will move two spaces towards the closest hero, which will put him up here with Gimli. All right, so the big guy will move one to attack Gimli. Slashes with filthy claws with agility negating. And this time we are gonna spend one of our boot tokens so we don't use agility, we will use our might instead to try to defend against three possible damage and a fear. We have one success. Let's see. So then we will just use final defense for guard three. And that will defend all that, and then we will move the troll one space. Our other group of marauders wants to move and attack Gimli, but too far away. So 
So they will move two spaces to get closer to Gimli. And then our scouts would like to move to and hit Aragorn too far away, so no target. They'll move four spaces towards the closest hero, which will be in on Gimli. So Gimli has lots of friends in with him. Darkness, each hero will suffer two fear with spirit negating. First for Aragorn. A little bit of laziness, some ancient wisdom. We'll spend an inspiration on that. You know what? We'll keep the inspiration and just use guard two. And then for Gimli with a spirit of four, he has one success and ready defense prepped, so he will negate both of those. Threat increases by six. Into the rally phase. Tiro resets their deck and scouts two. So Aragorn will be able to look at three cards. Let's see. We'll put Wyndham on grass on top. Prep gift of men just in case. And put her followed on the bottom of her deck. And Gimli looking at two. Let's see, we have a poet's heart. Which I think we will prep. And put Flame Bearer on the bottom of our deck. All right, let's see here. We will have Aragorn move to. Take a look at possible targets. Marauder, five health with two armor. And the scouts are three health each with one armor. He will start a fight with the orc marauder. So three cards, three successes. That we prepped well for that. That'll be a total of eight hits, which will be enough. And remove the Marauder and gain an inspiration. And then we will say he led the charge to the attack, discard it to gain an inspiration. And that will allow Gimli to make an attack. So Gimli will swing at the scouts. Looking at four cards. Arrogant in his attack again. One success. It will spin an inspiration to get two successes. Putting ready defense on top. Two successes is only six hits. So he will spend this restless axe to add two more hits, giving us a total of eight. Which will take care of all the goblin scouts. And let him gain an inspiration. So Aragorn moved two, moved, made an attack, and now for Gimli's turn, he will start with a move, and I forget what all these tokens are about. Let's 
statue of one of the kings. He will search for the vault. Carefully inspect the cure space of the statue. Something tells you that there may be more to it than meets the eye. Testing wit is a wit of two. We get two successes. I hope he was witty enough. Circle the statue and take a close look at each nook you see, but you can't help but think you might have missed something. Alrighty. So he will take, finish his move action to go one more spot. So that will be it for their turns. Ending the action phase. To the shadow phase. Big guy wants to move on and hit Gimli, but there's no target, which means bad things for Aragorn. He'll move over and say hello. And then the other enemy would like to move on and attack Gimli, which he can. Orc screams a phrase of such profane intensity, you're sure you have been cursed. Spirit will negate. Two damage, and after the attack, discard an inspiration. So, spirit of four. That gets two successes, but he will still need to discard an inspiration. Darkness. Aragorn, trying to negate two. Once again, a little lazy, spin an inspiration to prevent one. And he will take one fear. Paranoia. There's a nearby hero, discard a prepared card, then flip the card face down. They are not nearby anymore, so we'll just flip that face down. And then Gimli, looking at four cards. He has ready defense ready, so that will give him two successes. Gaining all that fear. Threat increases by six. Rally phase. Tier resets their deck and scouts two. Aragorn, look at three cards. We will prep Clever Wit. Put Lead the Charge on top of her deck and Luckware on the bottom. And for Gimli. Looking at two cards. You cannot pass. We will prep. And Flame Bear on the bottom. So for Aragorn, the question is to run and provoke or attack and then run. I think he, we need to look at some of these search tokens. So he's going to provoke the big guy. Massive muscles roll under your old scared hide. As blow after blow crash to earth around you. Might negates. So we have two successes. And we will use Strider for guard two so he will not take damage. And then Yulok moves one away from the closest hero. We'll throw him back this direction. So we wanted to provoke because of a move action, and now we want to interact with that token. Search for the vault. Testing our wit of three. Getting zero successes, but we have two lore, so we will 
been two inspiration and clever wit for three successes. Statues just what it appears to be, nothing more. That you are certain. Gain an inspiration and discard the search token. Then he will keep on moving. And for Gimli, he will swing his axe at the guy in his face. Looking at four cards, but let's see how much damage he needs to do here. Just seven. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, a little arrogant. All right. So, we will... Spin two inspiration to do six hits. Just to get as much blood going as possible. Well, actually, we'll see if five hits and a sunder will do better with two hits. Nope, still going to be one short. Enemy will attack back. Hands grip the handle of a wicked looking axe. Might negating. There's two possible damage coming our way. We have one success and we have ready defense in place. So we are good there. And since he's enemy's level exhausted, Gimli will interact with this search token. And search the vault. It will be wit, which we have nothing to help it with. So we have two successes. We circle, but we feel like we've missed something. So that is it for our action phase into the shadow phase. So the you will no targets. Move two spaces towards the closest hero. Equidistant, so he'll just look at both of them. Darkness step, starting with Aragorn. Two successes. And for Gimli. Looking at four cards. A little isolated, but he has plenty of successes to negate any damage. Threat goes up by six. Adoring and descendant of those who left Numenor and settled far from the realms of Arnor and Gondor enters the tower's high chamber. The orcs at his beck and call make to secure the ruin. Place a ruffian. More orcs pour from their boats. Place two goblin scouts. And more orcs. One goblin scout. Rally phase. Here resets their deck and scouts two. We are now nearby each other. So each will be able to look at three. We have lead the charge that we will prep and put Lazy and Thorngill on the bottom of our deck. For Gimli. Looking at three cards. 
Arrogant Restless Axe. We will prep. Let's see, getting rid of Unyielding Spirit. And put these two in the bottom of our deck. And then we will start the turn with Gimli using his Restless Axe to make a free attack. Get to the enemy in his square. So looking at four cards, needing at least one success, we get two. We will put Restless Axe back on top. So that will do six hits. Removing that Orc Marauder and gaining an Inspiration. And then for his second action, we will check out this token once again. Searching for the Vault. Testing our wit of two. Getting one success. Statue is just what it appears to be. Gain an inspiration and discard the token. So that was an attack and an interact. So then we will have Aragorn run two and interact with this token. Searching for the vault, testing our wit again. One success. He knows he's being followed and will spend an inspiration to get two successes. And we feel like we've missed something. That will end our action phase to the shadow phase. Big guy wants to move one and attack Aragorn or closest hero. So he will move on and say hello to Gimli. Using his filthy claws, agility negating. We will use our last boot token so we can use his might to defend with. So we have two successes. We'll get an automatic success from the guard ability, and then we will just take one of those damages. Weariness, flip this card face down, and then he will take a step backwards. And then the ruffian would like to move two and hit Gimli, but there's no target. So the scale and move four spaces towards Gimli and say hello. And then our basic scouts would like to move to and say hi to Aragorn, but there's no target. Actually, there is a target. They will move to and say hello to Gimli. Thin Goblin lets out an ear-splitting cry, trying to unnerve you. You stand your ground, fixing an icy stare at the wretched creature. Spirits negates. If you suffer no damage or fear from this attack, gain an inspiration. So he'll look at four cards. Getting one success. And with his ready defense, he will defend both of those and gain an inspiration. And then lastly, there one scout would like to move to and attack somebody. So they will move through this guy and say hello to Gimli. He's getting picked on. So once again, spirit to negate. I have to shuffle his deck here since he's Mr. Popularity. Looking at four cards, hoping for two successes. 
finds one and with his ready defense we are good and he would gain another inspiration if he had room to hold it now the darkness step Aragon feels a little dark he'll spin an inspiration just to take one fear Hopelessness, discard two prepped cards or suffer two face down fear. So we'll go with the two prepped cards. Then discard this card. We'll get rid of Gift of Men and Word of Triumph. And then Gimli, we'll look at four cards. Feeling isolated while he's surrounded by all the enemies. One success. And ready defense will give him the second. Threat increases by six. Rally phase. Reset decks and scout two. First air going looking at three. See, we'll prep Undying Might and put the other two on the bottom of her deck. Look at two cards. We will prep Time of Need and put a success on top of her deck because Gimli's got lots of killing to do. Do the action phase. So first off, we will have Gimli use Poet's Heart to rest two to discard two of his face down damage. Then he will start swinging. Let's see, who does should he swing at? Oh goodness, that's Adderin in there with him. Goblin Scouts are kind of weak. You might be able to get rid of them. And then the Goblin. How lucky does he feel? I think he would just try to get rid of the Spike Armored Goblin Scout to start with. So first attack. Looking at four cards. We have... Two successes, which would give us five hits and a sunder, or just six hits. So we'll just take the six hits and put ready defense back on top of our deck. So there goes the lonely Goblin Scout. And he would have gained an inspiration if he could hold it. For a second attack, he'll go after the other Goblin Scouts. Looking at four cards. Two successes. And he'll spin an inspiration for three successes. Putting ready defense back on top. And that will be nine total hits. And you remove both of those and get his inspiration back. That will end his turn. And Aragorn will have him interact with his token. Searching for the vault. Testing his wit of three. Getting zero successes. But he's determined. So he will pitch those three cards and get three more cards. 
getting one success. So a little bit better. Hey, you found a map carved into the stone. You quickly recognize the layout of the part of the city and determine it points to the hidden vault. Gain an inspiration and discard the search token. And look for 208B. Place an exploration token. And for his second action, he will move the camera and then run two spaces to get in this new map tile. And that will end our action phase into the shadow phase. So the big guy would like to move one space and hit Gimli. How convenient. He's right there. Hammers at your defenses with fist and chain. Might will negate. Looking at four cards. We He's isolated, that's for sure. He has one success, and we'll spend... Let's see. We'll just keep the one success. Tell him he cannot pass. And use that for guard three, so we will take no damage. And we'll have the... Troll move one backwards. And then Adrian would like to go after Aragorn, but he's too far away, so the closest hero would be Gimli. So Gimli will be the meat shield. Ow, that's going to hurt. Adrian's blade flashes as he swings it at you in a broad, aggressive arc. You catch a glimpse of your own reflection in it, but your visage there looks decayed and empty. Wisdom negates. Fortunately, we have ring mail, so instead of using wisdom, we can actually use our might. Unfortunately, there's four damage and four fear possibly coming at us. And after the attack, we're going to suffer one face down fear. So looking at four cards, we have three successes. We will use an inspiration for a fourth. His ready defense give us a fifth. And then we will spin that. Guard two so we can negate seven of that. And just take one damage. Well, he's been poisoned. Gain a weakness and shuffle it into your deck. Then discard this card. So one unknown weakness. And then we will suffer one face down fear. He can't take that many more times. Tear and Darkness suffers two. So Aragon. He'll spin an inspiration. You know what? He'll keep the inspiration just in case. So one success. We'll let one fear come through. A little bit of gloom. Flip that face down, and then for Gimli, short on cards again, shuffle. Looking at four cards, and we will spend two inspiration, since he was arrogant and distracted, to negate both of those. Continue. Threat increases by seven. Rally phase. Tier resets their deck and scouts two. For Aragorn, that'll be three. And I just realized when he moved into that tile, he didn't explore, so we'll take care of that after I finish the scouting. We will prep Strider. Put a wind among grass on top of his deck and put that on the bottom. And Gimli. Taking on the world. Let's 
two little cards. Huh, ready to fence. We will definitely prep. Poet's Heart will go on the bottom. And continue to the action phase. We'll take care of this Explorer token. Find the hidden vault used by the kings. Pass to hide those things too valuable or dangerous to leave any open. Discard the exploration token and gain an inspiration. Single dusty mirror stands in one dim corner of the vault. Place a threat token. Something is carved into the cave wall. Place a threat token. Journey continues. So we've got two threat tokens to deal with and not enough actions to do it all with. First, he'll interact with this and see if it's a mirror he can break. Hopefully that's enough. He gazed at the mirror for only a few brief moments before Ray stepped toward your reflection. One of them bows to you. After so long separated from the rest of the mirror in the tower, our loneliness is over, he says. Tell us how we can serve you. No leaving Naltera unbroken becomes riskier every moment, but Adoran's orcs threaten to cut off your escape from the city completely. Perhaps the race could be helpful. We will smash the mirror. Race gals, you have to mallet. Some worker left us here long ago. Wait, we can be of use to you. Ah, tough decisions. We'll smash it anyway. You hew the mallet at the mirror, testing our might. So we have two successes. We'll spend an inspiration and use Undying Might for four successes. Raves slink away from where the web of cracks spreads from the head of the mallet. They glare at you incredulously. No, we are at your service. Gain an inspiration. You have found the remaining piece of Nal Tilar hidden in the King's Vault. Objective updated. Destroy the other piece of Nal Tilar. That was his first action. Interact with the token again. A few more hits should do it. Testing our might once again. Zero successes. We still have one inspiration to spend. So we'll go ahead and spend that. And see if one tiny whack with a mallet will do what we need. Your reflection explodes into a thousand twinkling charges as the mirror shatters. Glass showers the floor and suddenly the air in the vault feels lighter. Become determined. And discard the threat token. You have shattered the part of Nautilir that resides in the King's Vault. The mere spirits is now gone from Middle Earth. Numinous swarms with Adoran's orcs, and your best route to safety appears to be over the lake. Final objective, escape across Lake Evendom. That's probably not going to happen. Heroes have made it impossible for Adoran to use the Mirror of Spirits in his terrible plot against Middle Earth. Win or lose this adventure, the campaign will continue. Well, that's good to know, because we're about to lose. So you rally to press back toward the lake. Adoran's minions close off your escape. Place two goblin scouts. So Aragorn used two actions in here. So he has spent Gimli. He's going to have to provoke this guy and run. Provoking Adoran. Face and shadow whispers to earth, and his blade seems to take a deathly sheen. Might negating. He's distracted once again. Zero successes. Nothing to help with that. Do have ready defense. So that will give us one success. We'll use the guard ability, so we have three to negate. We will, let's see, if you suffer any wounds from this attack, suffer an additional face down fear. Well, we're definitely going to do that. 
negate all the fear then. And take the four wounds or damage. First one. Dazed. Keep this card face up. Before you interact with a threat token, you must spend an inspiration. Weariness. Flip card face down. Another weariness. And knocked prone. Deplete one of your items without resolving its effect and discard one prepared card, then discard this card. We don't have any cards to deplete. And then since we took some damage, we will suffer an additional face down fear. So then he will move to swing, I guess. Hoping for the best. Looking at four cards. We have one success. Nothing to help that with. Because he was arrogant. Imagine that. So one success. Three hits. Confirm. Get smacked back. Goblin scans the shadows, sees you, and leaps forward. Spirit negates. So we have two successes. So we negated that, but after this attack, if you're in darkness, flip two fear face up. How convenient, because we have two fear. So one is just gloom, flip face down. The other one is suffer one face down fear, then flip this card face down. So we now have three fear on him. He survived that misfortune, but now we are all out of actions. Confirming this into the shadow phase. Big guy wants to move one to attack anyone. Everyone's too far away. So we we'll move to to say hello to Gimli at the lake. Adarin would like to move to and attack Gimli. Moves in. Gimli using might to negate. Two successes. Fear is definitely going to go down anyway. So he'll block two wounds or damage, meaning he will take two. First one, some more weariness. Second one, flip one damage and one fear face up, and then discard this card. So the face up one will be weariness. And then for the fear face up will be gloom. And then three fear plus an additional face down. So the first one, gloom, put that face down. Second one, Troubled, keep this card face up. After you or nearby hero suffers one or more fear from darkness, that hero suffers an additional one. And then Hysteria, you and each nearby hero suffer one damage, then discard this card. So it's not nearby, so he'll just take the damage. He's... Very weariness, and then the face down fear. So he now has five damage and more than enough fear. Confirming that. Letting Gimli go in for a last stand with fear. Testing spirit, hoping to see at least one. He will have to shuffle. Uh, 
And we were fortunate to get one success. Discard all face down fear, gain an inspiration. And continue for a little bit longer. So darkness. Your Aragon. No successes. Don't think it matters, but he's determined. He'll try harder. Did just as good. No successes. So two fear coming his way. Looming shadows. If you are in a space with darkness, suffer one more fear. And flip this card face down. Rage. Keep this card face up. You cannot prevent damage, including the gate test. When you attack, add two hits. And suffering another one. Infighting. Each here by each nearby hero flips one damage face up. We're not nearby. Then flip this card face down. So that takes him to five fear. But fortunately, he has plus one to that limit. And Gimli, looking at four cards, negates one. He would like to surrender, which is appropriate. Keep this card face up. If you would discard a face up fear, flip it face down instead. So the darkness step is done. Threat increases by six. Adoran's orcs are everywhere. You slay a few of them and avoid others, but soon you find yourself surrounded. You hear drums approaching as orcs line you up and force you to your knees. A row of goblins parts and the sorcerer Adoran strides towards you. His face is twisted in fury as he hurls a shard of now tealer at you, and with his clothes more ragged than you expected, he looks crazed and wild. Your interference has cost everything, he bellows over the sound of the storm. The hate in his eyes cools as the rain beats down on you. Something in Adoran seems to die. Of course, I am the only thing that has kept my army on a leash, he sighs. All feeling going from his voice. If I cannot have my kingdom, I see no reason not to loose them upon Eridor. He flicks his wrist and the goblins approach you, sneering with jagged teeth. An arrow sprouts from the chest of one of the goblins, and both you and the goblin stare at it in confusion for a few moments before he gives in to the injury and falls. More arrows start to fall among Adoran's orcs. We have your flank, calls Halberd from the ruined rooftop, standing alongside several of his rangers. Run for the lake. You stumble to your feet, upending a few surprised orcs, and make the lake Evendom. Find one of Adoran's boats waiting on the shore, and as the rain rips across your path and clouds swirl, Push the boat out into Lake Evendom and climb aboard. Heroes lose. Adoran is not daunted by your interference and will surely lead his fearsome army against the rangers. Hopefully you can recover from this defeat soon, enough to help. Each hero gains three experience. Soon the arrows of the orcs cannot reach your boat. They splash harmlessly into the water like distant rain. The wind and waves summoned by the terrific storm are another matter. Your boat lurches across the lake. You struggle to turn it toward a safe shore. In one swift motion, a wave tosses your boat into the air. You spin and splash into the lashing waves. You fight to keep your heads above water, but the lake proves a more formidable foe than most monsters you have fought. As you plunge deeper into the water, you feel soft hands upon you, gently pulling you back toward the surface. You burst into the open air and find yourself in a pool of calm water near the farther shore of Lake Evendom. The lake still rages, but the water around you is strangely calm. You wait on the dry land, each agreeing that you felt as if you had been pulled from the waters by something or someone. But none of you can take credit for saving another. Well, even though this ended in a loss, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, please click on the like button, and also be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.